What have you found, Fran? Gigantic crab in there. <gasps> what? Shit. He's snapping it in half. An absolute giant under here, Fran. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. oh. It's really so rare to find this, guys. Woo, look at that. Oh, and that wasn't me. <laughs> hey, welcome back to another episode. Today we are getting deep and dirty. In the mangroves. Yeah, in the mangroves. <laughs> what are we looking for, Fred? We're looking for mic crabs and any cool crabs I can come across. Yeah, crabs. Fran loves crabs. Basically, we're on a little tropical island um, and we're hoping there might be oh, enough mud and mangroves around here to hold a big juicy mud crab. So that's what we're going after. It's going to be awesome, guys. Let's get into it. Yep. <laughs> This little guy was so interesting. They cool, it's bigger than the old body. It's huge, eh? <laughs> Mud crab country. Not a fan. So red. Look at the colors of this one, just. In these little holes, the scrubs. In all of them. Oh, sorry. Big fish that thinks they're hidden down here. Let's see his tail. Hello. Ooh. Come on, get it. <laughs> oh, got him, friend. You got it? Ah, <laughs> oh. ah he's spiky. Yeah, it's spiky. Oh, no, no. Oh. 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 No, it's dead. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. Should we eat him, friend, or should we keep looking for a crab or something else? <laughs> I don't know. I had to think about it, and I think Jackie's going for it. <laughs> Yay! Ah! Oh, quick, 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 quick! Oh, no. Oh. Where'd he go? Now. <laughs> oh, there! Oh. <laughs> That's big enough for a meal for two there. That can be our lunch, Fran. A meal for one, I think. We <laughs> Good we'll job. We'll keep him with us. Hand catching fish for lunch. That's very cool. So we're hoping to find some mud crabs at the base of these mangrove trees um, or any other fish in the shallows. There's a little mud crab here, so it's good to know that the species we're okay. after is actually here. Because that's him there. See, he's trying to be a bit camouflaged. Oh, yeah, oh there's yeah. two of them. Is it a boy and a girl? Yeah, they're cute. Little camouflaged crab here. Oh, yeah. It's playing dead. Yeah. Look at this coconut. Woo! Deep in here. Still got like two hanging coconuts out of This one, my good. My big. This one. Oi. Oh, far out. He scared me. He's Don't you dare scare me like that. He scared me. There's a, there's a little one in there. But he's a bit aggro. I might, I might leave him have a... Find another one. Yeah, there's like a fresh hole here. And you can see it's kind of like been freshly almost groomed out the front. With the hole size, like a small crab can make a pretty big hole. So it, although this hole looks huge, it's probably only realistically a crab that big. But we'll just have a bit of a look. That's the little mud crab that made this huge big hole. He's only a little tacker. Sorry mate, I was just checking to see if there's anyone bigger home. He would pack a hell of a punch though if he got you. Hmm. Look, turtle skull. A turtle skull? Yeah. What have you found, Fran? So this is a turtle skull that I just found there. And not far off this one, there's a few remaining. And um, there's definitely too many to be one turtle. And there's one skull up in the tree up there. Wow, I wonder what do you think it happened to them? So it's definitely like, look how many. You think there's crocodiles here? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I think they were mating. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> What happened to them? Brent? I think they were mating and the male wasn't being too nice to her 
and he probably drowned her and then they got stuck into the trees. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell all that just from a couple of bones, eh? Yeah, I think so. Case closed. I think, but this phone is in the way. <laughs> oh, that's a bigger one. Oh. That's the male you were talking about. Yeah, I think so. Oh. <gasps> Told you. <laughs> Of them, Fran. Oh, yeah. We've got to find a bigger hole and hopefully a bigger mud crab. Whoa. It's a big one, Jack. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, Fran. Wow. That is a giant island mud crab. Not too much mud around, so they're actually a beautiful, like, look at that colour, like a bluey yeah. green. Color. This one here, you can see it's actually a female um, by that larger um, semicircular shape there. This is a giant, giant mud crab. Uh, we're going to let her go because we don't keep the female ones. But gee, she's a beautiful big crab. Put her home back how she likes it, how we found it. Put her back here. She can get her back, back into her hole. Here you go. This hole here probably looks like the biggest and best one we've found all day. You can see it's a, a big hole and this here is actually the crab's belly slide coming in as he cleans out his hole. And you can see it's all pretty fresh. So I hope that there'll be a crab in here somewhere. Let's go nice and Oh shit, it's deep, friend. It's very deep. It doesn't feel like anyone's home, unfortunately. All right, Jack just sent me to find a stick. What's this thing? This is not bamboo. Find a stick to get the crab up. Let's see. This one? Yeah. Wow, I got you a stick. Frank, come over with this. This must be like a giant mud crab graveyard. Out of this huge hole, I pulled a shell. I'm like, what is going on? And then this giant crab that's just all soft. So these mud crabs, they molt their outside shell, which is their hard shell, and then they, um, they've got this really soft shell, and then they've got to kind of lay in hiding. But this must have just come off him. I wonder if that's a, a match for him. That's a different size, does it? Crazy. I need to get back in there and see what's in there. I think there's a huge crab in there that's just eating up the crabs, because this has come out of there as well. I need to get in there with a stick and see what's going on. Yeah, I got you one. <laughs> Feels like there's just a gigantic crab in there. And then, I don't know. <gasps> what is snapping up? <laughs> what? <laughs> there, oh, there's a giant under here. Don't put your hand in there. They just oh. snapped it up. <gasps> grab it, grab it, grab it. There is an absolute giant under here, friend. I can't believe that. Flick that rock up. It's more like it's moving. I think it's flickable. Can we flick that rock and yeah. see what's going on underneath? All right, we decided to flick the rock. Why are we picking and flicking? Uh, this way, because he's over there. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I must be getting a good video here. Oh, that's bloody perfect. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Oh my gosh, did you see that? He's holding on to it. Can I have the little one? There's another rock here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Quick, 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 quick. Where did he go? No. Do you see the size? Yeah. Of it? Here, 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 here. Oh, holy shit. 
Mm. Oh! What? Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, Fred! That's, that's the biggest mud crab I've ever seen! Oh my gosh! That is incredibly wow. large. That is just amazing. What a battle. Holy shit. A gigantic tropical island mud crab. That is epic, Fran. I cannot believe this size. I can't believe how big this thing is. Oh, he's so strong. We're trying to get him out for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes maybe. Look at that. Wow. We did it, Fran. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> a good day's catch. Yeah. <laughs> On the tropical islands, you don't really expect to see something like this lurking in the, Crazy. In the silt. So this here is the soft interior of a mud crab claw. And um, we can eat all this. There's beautiful, tasty meat in that. So. Wait, I think we can cook this in our coconut cream and actually eat the whole thing. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we'll eat that whole skin like a soft yeah. shell crab. Back to the hut. Jackie's already doing some cleaning. And I'm gonna put these ones somewhere. Where do you guys reckon? What do you think, Jeff? I think those things are terrifying, so I don't, I don't want them here. I reckon they're scary, but wherever you reckon. Looking good there. <laughs> I'm gonna put this small one here. that bit <laughs> anyway I hope it <laughs> no <laughs> there we go wow. Now guys, this is the cooker I'm most excited for. So what we've got here, we've got that soft shell mud crab and it's really so rare to find this guys because when they're like this, they're just so fragile. They normally just lay low under rocks and in their holes, but we've got really lucky today. Uh, it's actually a real delicacy, but the way we're gonna cook it is um, if we just put it straight on the fire, it's, it's too fragile, it'd burn. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook the crab in a coconut we're going to boil it up in that and i reckon it's going to be delicious we'll stoke that fire up make a nice spot in the middle for the coconut yeah the crab goes in yeah and it boils i think we're gonna have to do one claw in each hey no it'd be right it's a pretty big claw yeah that'd be okay we're jamming in there yeah look it's so full already okay we'll do one each let's see who cooks it better we'll do one each we'll have cook off <laughs> it's huge, eh? It's so big, I don't know how you want it to fit. Two in one. Alright, alright, you were correct on that call, Fran. <laughs> Can you say that again? No, you got it once. <laughs> Everyone heard it. <laughs> oh, it's so hot in the middle there now. I'm gonna go watch this one so I can have a lead as well. getting there so the the good thing with this guys the crab will actually go that uh, orangey color of a cooked crab <laughs> um, once it's ready so it's getting there it's kind of like three quarters of the way there you yeah. reckon started to change color yeah yours might be ready because it had a better lead on yeah probably oh that's really 
hot around there now. Maybe around your side here, could do it a bit more. A little bit longer? Yeah. Right. The verdict is we're going to stoke it up one more time, my friend. Yeah. One last go. A fair bit of time and love's gone into that. Yeah. Whoa. Perfect. That is perfect now. Yeah. That is what we're going for. The next task is getting it off the fire. <laughs> <laughs> With these smaller fish, we like gutting them before they go on the fire. Right. Time for the star of the show, eh? The big mud crab? Yeah. I think it's as big as your hand, eh? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> right in the middle. Yeah. Quick friend, dinner's ready. How's that sunset? Woo, friend, I'm so excited. Hurry up. Woo, look at that. Look at all that water. I suppose that's all the juice. Oh, no, that's all good. There's heaps of meat in behind that. I wouldn't eat the shell. Just not chewable. So you don't reckon you just bite through the whole thing? No. Mm. How'd you go? Far out. Nice. Such a weird flavor I never like really? tasted before. What, crabby or coconutty or both? Crabby, coconutty, <laughs> smoky. Oh wow. Good. Oh that is so good. Oh, just exploded. Look how juicy it is. They're constantly throwing their shell and regrowing it, and we just happen to get lucky and find this one at that right stage. Tastes like smoked pancetta. Smoked what? Pancetta. It's a pancetta. What you make carbonara with. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna check on the fish. Mm. Whoa, so big. Woo. It can be dessert. So. -da. <laughs> I'm just gonna snap it from here. What? Look how much meat, it's just so full. Ah. <laughs> this is not how you do it. That's not how you eat a crab. <laughs> Nice. How did you break it so easily? Mine wouldn't come up. Really hot, but that is a giant crab lollipop. Wow! Oh, I take back everything I said about you, friend. That is perfect. What did you say about me? <laughs> about how not to cook, how not to crack a crab. <laughs> that is how you crack a crab, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How'd you go? This is just... Moment of truth. Oh no, I've got a half of one. Ha uh ha. -huh. Karma. <laughs> Before we go guys, I'm going to try and describe this. This is absolutely delicious. Uh, it's somehow the smoke of the fire gets in to the meat and it's like a smoked yeah. flavour. It's just an absolute delicacy. So if you, if you do get the chance to go hunt mud crabs, I recommend trying to um, cook, cook, them yeah, cook them on the fire. It's, yeah. it's way better than boiling it. Way out. better. Yeah, unless you boil it in a coconut with coconut <laughs> water. That's right. <laughs> mm. Alright, thanks for watching yeah. in the next episode. Yeah, see you bright and early in the morning guys. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as we are. We're going to rip into this, have an absolute feast. And um, see you tomorrow. Like, subscribe, tell your mum, tell your friends. Tell everyone to watch. <laughs> see you in the morning.